Hello. Uh, today I'm in the office uh, preparing for Thursday, and uh, and I'm looking at, at Thursday's ratings. And uh, normally, anything that ends with um, wailing and grinding of teeth is, is really not my my uh, my ideal reading. Um, but uh, today we got a great opportunity, or, or I'm seeing this as a great opportunity. That there, there is uh, a, a great blessing and great invitation in, in today's gospel reading, and and uh, you know we have uh, the the king, you know, who's throwing a wedding for his his son, and you know, and sends the invitation, and and, and people ignore it, and then. Uh, and then he sends the servants out again uh, to invite them. And this time the people are even more, you know, misbehave even, even more poorly and, uh, you know, and, and, uh, and, and murder the servants. And then, uh, and then he, he deals with that and he has them murdered and all this kind of stuff. And then he, he says, you know, head out into the streets and invite everyone, um, you know, and, and, and then there's one guy who comes who's who's not dressed in a wedding garment and and when he says like what are you doing here without that and the guy falls silent they you know have him bound and, and thrown in the streets where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth and and that's a lot of fire and brimstone for me and and uh and normally I think, you know, what, what feels like, like the greatest blessing for me personally today is there were times in my faith where, where all I would hear is the wailing and grinding of teeth. And today I got that great opportunity I have, uh, we have that great opportunity to, to, to look at, at this through the lens of our faith and try to find where we can identify and what, where, where an invitation may lie for us. Um, and for me, um, there's a couple of things here. One is, you know, that the servants went out to, to invite uh, these people to, the, uh, to, to the wedding and, uh, and they ignored it. And, uh, and they send them out again, and again they ignore it, and they behave poorly, and all that. Um, you know, and I think that's us. You know, I, I'll speak from my own experience. I know it's me. Um, I know there are those times in my life um, where where I may have felt called um, to something where I, but it, it it's not. It was, you know, it was inconvenient, um, or it wasn't exactly to something that I would have, the way I would have planned it, um, you know, and, uh, you know, and today it's that great opportunity to say, you know, where do I feel God is calling me, you know, and to have that moment of silence and prayer where we can be vulnerable to the idea of, of possibly being called to something that we don't really want to be called to. Um, you know, I've, I've heard those stories over and over and over again in ministry from people who took on, on burdens that some, some minor, some really significant, but every single one of them turned out to be the, you know, their, their, their greatest blessings in the end. Uh, but where they felt called to was not initially something that they necessarily wanted. Um, you know, and then we have that one other thing in, in, in today's reading that really stood out for me is that, um, you know, when people behave poorly, you know, the king said, send them out, invite everyone, you know, and, and, and isn't that the opposite of fire and brimstone, that great opportunity to look at it and be reminded as we are in scripture that everyone is invited, you know, we're all welcome. There's no one, you know, in my in my moments um, that I think we all have. But again, I'll speak from my experience. So those moments in life where where I feel especially unworthy of God's love, or or for whatever reason, whatever issue I may be having in my life, where I feel um, like unworthy, we are reminded over and over and over again that. Every single human person is welcome. Every single human person is in, receives the invitation 
Um, and all we have to do is show up. All we have to do is pay attention. Um, you know, and, and we have uh, today's the feast day of St. Bernard, um, you know, who, who was supposedly known for continually asking, you know, what is your your purpose? What are you here for? What are you, what is your purpose uh, while you're here on earth? Um, you know, and that's, that's that, that, that call from today's gospel, you know, to, to ask ourselves, you know, what am I being called to? Um, you know, and I think each of us, you know, has that, that moment today, that invitation, that opportunity to take a moment of prayer where it's not about what do I want to do today, but where is, where is God calling me today? Where am I, um, you know, if I have that moment of silent prayer, what is that little voice in the back of my head telling me? Who, you know, who, what is that phone call that I'm supposed to make? What is that action I am supposed to take? Um, and again, I, I think I said this last week, but as always, you know, the invitation for me, you know, 10 times out of 10 is always at some point, you know, whether I, I need to listen to feel where I'm called, there's always that other additional piece that, you know, where am I called to make this prayer active in my life? You know, if I, you know, um, if I'm looking at this as, as what is my purpose, you know, what is my what am I called to? Then, then how do I practice this, um, this calling today, this morning, this afternoon, this evening? Um, so I hope you are all safe and everyone is well. And uh, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next week.